Well, of course, we saw in November the Dutch general election deliver that shock result. Uh, the Gert Wilders party actually came out uh, on top and now much speculation as to whether Wilders can get support, enough support from other party leaders, other parties to actually serve as Dutch prime minister at the head of a coalition uh, government. We've seen now the analysis that according to those in charge of this process, uh, Wilders should hold coalition talks with a new social contract. That was Peter Umzik, the independent MP's new party along with the VVD Conservatives, which was the party that was led by the uh, outgoing PM Mark Root and the Farmer Citizen Movement BBB. So now since then, you've actually seen a follow-up verdict from Dutch voters, which is pretty sensational. You're seeing this, that off the back of that election result and these negotiations about the next Dutch government, Gert Wilders' party, their support actually rising again to 27.4%. That's their highest level of support ever recorded in a Dutch poll. Meanwhile, the VVD Conservatives, what a contrast this is, falling for their lowest level since 2010, would be their worst election result since 1971, on just 10.4% of the vote in this latest Dutch poll. And you can see there the lie of the land, the PVV, Gert Wilders' party on 27%, way ahead of the Green uh, Labour coalition there in second on 15, the new social contract on 13% in third and the VVD Conservatives on 10% in fourth place. But in an 150 seat parliament, as it stands, Gert Wilders' party, according to this latest sensational poll, uh, would win 43 seats. That's the verdict post-election from Dutch voters. Let me know what you make of that in the comments below, guys. I will keep bringing you all the latest on this and more, of course. So please do whack this video a quick thumbs up. And of course, as ever, cheers for watching.